So, what are the symbols? What are the symbols? In a way, this is a weird question because um, a holy book is filled almost entirely with symbolic language and with symbols. And so we'll see some examples where places are symbolic and also animals, another question that comes up later, are symbolic. But the first one is um, entirely symbolic, and that is this uh, baseball, which appears everywhere in Charlie Brown's um, <laughs> line of vision. Um, he wakes up and the sun appears as a baseball. He goes out and the moon appears as a baseball. He sees this baseball in his ice cream. He sees the baseball, or he, or he begins to, the threads of a baseball begin to grow on the back of his head. And then he sees a doctor. Uh, <laughs> all started, blah, blah, blah. Am I cracking up, doctor? Is this the last of the ninth? He needs to know what this is about. Of course, it's about his deep obsession with baseball and how much of a troubled relationship that is. Um, in this example from uh, from Lat, from uh, Kampong Boy, uh, this giant dredge, this uh, factory, um, is this sort of symbolic part of the landscape. It's both feared and um, and adored, and it's really exciting. And they go near it a lot. Sometimes it just acts as this um, symbolic representation of the larger world, the larger. Um, uh, you know, market world, the larger town nearby. They live in very small villages. This is one of the larger and scarier things that they that they um, contend with. And in this self-published comic by um, one of our students, Phil Weiss, this he is having this experience with his um, mother and his family, and he's trying to deal um, and with some with some relationship problems and things like that, and on a a separate trek, he sees this enormous bison out in the wild, and it confronts him in this way that is deeply symbolic, and they stare at each other. And he even emphasizes this in the way that he's constructed these panels. I think this is a lovely sequence. And then the bison walks away. And for what it's worth, he um, then goes home and uh, calls his mom. <laughs> so it's a symbolic visitation um, from an animal in the holy world.